A lot of people come into my threads and they talk bad about Luna Classic. They say things like, Well, you promise everything. The points go up to millions, yeah? Things like someone is for the guy who stole all the money and left. Or this little nugget. Not the bow with the poop emojis, bro. This is getting ridiculous. We stupid. Do they really talk like that? I don't know. They sound like that in my head. So that's the important part, and that's what matters because perception is reality. Hashtag 2024 election. All right, guys, we're going to talk about the Terra Luna Classic price. And look, uh, there's a lot of people here who don't, they're not going to make it, okay? There's a lot of people out here who've been wrecked, who lost probably $30, $40 in uh, that Terra Luna collapse because look, the rich people, they already made their money back and they're moving on these, uh, the, these low rents. Uh, they're, they're already, they, they're not going to make it. So, uh, but we listen to them because they, they, they make good posts. They make good posts. So, uh, let's, uh, let's point and laugh when we see them. Make sure you point and laugh in the comment section down below. If you like this type of content, make sure that you leave a comment down below letting me know that you believe in the price of Luna Classic and that you believe in the ecosystem and everything that is coming forward. And do you know what that is? If you don't, go back and start reading a couple of these videos. And if you don't want to read them, go look at them. And if you don't want to look at them, podcast it. I don't care. Just pay attention. All right, guys, I'm through messing with you. Let's get on with what's going on. First of all, we got technical indicators indicating that a pump is coming for Terra Luna Classic. Uh, yeah, no kidding. Uh, I've been telling you that for a little while. Let's see what it looks like on the chart. So, We've had strong bounces off of the 382 line at 8,000. Uh, it seems like we've been bought up very quickly. Now, you, I told you there's an ascending channel that's been playing out here right now. This ascending channel just got a bounce right there, a significant bounce today from that bottom, and it seems like the reversal is in. Does that mean the reversal is in? No, not yet, because right now what we're looking at, let me zoom in here so that you can see it, is a bit of a doji candle, which means that it could go either way, but it is wicking down to the bottom, and the market seems to be in buy mode right now, so I suspect that we're seeing a reversal happening and playing out right now. So uh, that could mean that price appreciation is the next step here. Uh, but let's point out something. There's been no announcements of new um, voting. There's no real announcement for something in the ecosystem. So we're kind of just listless as the market starts to do whatever the market's going to do. USA is going to put out a bunch of data pretty soon. Uh, we'll see how this market looks. We'll start to see whether or not we get a big pump. You know, we, we haven't seen it yet, but I think that it's coming. And when it does, boom, we start to take off just a little bit. But I don't know that for sure. I don't know that we haven't corrected. I told you yesterday, I, I set a buy order for... Bitcoin at 60,400. We wicked down to 60,400. Now we're at 61,200 right now. So uh, it played out so far pretty perfect, but we'll see whether or not that maintains. Uh, but I do think that we could, by the way, we could still have a wick down to the bottom, but even if we do, I don't think that Luna Classic bleeds too much. I think the market is ready for that reversal. It's October, so um, I think that we're in good good space, good spirits, if you will. Uh, volume is up 12% to $14 million. Still not what we're looking for. Still want a little bit more volume out of it. Price down about another 2%. Same thing over here. Price down 4%. Again, I told, I, look, I, look, USTC was cooked. It's over, it's, it's overdone. Um, but, but this is a great accumulation opportunity. Volume is at 13 uh, million. And look, there. I don't know that, I don't know that it goes back to a dollar on a repeg. I, you know, I don't know what we're going to do yet. Maybe one cent, two cent, five cents, 10 cents. You know, we might be working our way up and creating enthusiasm based on that. But um, primarily the important piece to this, the important component, if you will, we got some big burns coming very, very soon. Uh, we'll see what the circulating supply and the total supply, we'll see what that looks like. Uh, but I do suspect that there's going to be a move from UST back up to this long-term trend line over here, which I keep telling you, somewhere around six and a half cents. So I, I, I do think that we're going to have a breakout here. We're probably going to have a little quick 3X that happens 
on USTC in short order. But I don't know that that happens until the end of October. That's when the repeg really tar starts to take steam. Ceramic has famously said at this point that one week after the bankruptcy, which is scheduled for October 30th from Terraform Labs, one week after that is when he will submit the first idea for proposal. And then I think this repeg starts to take shape, provided that what he's putting out and what he's wanting to implement on the system makes sense to the voting body. And listen, even if I have my problems with Jesus is Lord or, or some of these other validators in that I just disagree fundamentally with what they think is important and imperative in this blockchain, because I do think that a repeg, uh, I do think that, that you know, uh, meme coins, I do think these things are very, very important for the ecosystem to give it an opportunity to thrive. Even if we disagree fundamentally, I think we all agree when we see a good project that could change the dynamic here that we're all going to be looking at it for a yes vote. So uh, it's a lot for, for me to complain about Jesus as Lord and find a way to do that. I'm not meaning to do that. I'm just saying that, you know, we don't, I, I don't always agree with him, uh, them, whomever. Um, did I just misgender? I don't know. But uh, I, I think that we're going to have another big move. I think we're going to really start to see uh, a lot of stuff play out on USTC and on Luna Classic. I, I, I would suspect that Luna Classic is going to triple in price. Uh, USTC is going to triple in price. And all of that's coming very, very soon. And it's going to start erupting without notice. We're just going to start seeing it go crazy. And that's what will happen. Now, let's keep going a little bit further. Let's look at the supply right now. This was actually a pretty good day. 29 million burned. If we could get that every single day, then we would have significant burns all of the time. Not great, but good. Now, when you look at the Lunk Burn Tracker, 351 million over seven days, you know, it really applies to about 40 million per day. So when we go back over here and we look and we see that, you know, Stake Bin says we, we burned 29 million. Well, that's kind of average for the, the, the range here. We're looking for those 200 million burns that we had a couple days ago to continue on. So, uh, but, but again, you know, we get 30 million burns every single day. That's 900 million over the course of a month. And, you know, it's not optimal, but I'll take it. You know what I mean? Like, like at least that's going to be uh, a fairly consistent amount if we can continue that. Now, look, the the big thing is there's a lot more burns. 274 billion of the uh, Luna Classic is still sitting in Terraform Labs, and not only that. Remember, USTC. When we look at USTC, that's where it gets really interesting because they have like 1.8 billion USTC. So the question would be at that point is. Is that circulating supply, is that total supply, has that been removed from either one of these? If it is and if it does, what is going to happen to the price? That's where we start looking at that big six cents rip and boom, uh, we see a price explosion, uh, the likes of which we rarely see uh, in this space. I think that that is what ends up happening over there. And I think that it happens very, very, very quickly. And we're all just kind of sitting back going, wow. Okay, so I think that's going to happen. Uh, let me know what you think, by the way, in the comments down below. And if you speak with that weird accent that I just gave you at the beginning of this video, you don't have to post. Uh, nobody wants to hear that. As far as meme coins go, uh, trading at around 1200 right now. Um, Juris Protocol, by the way. Juris, Juris Protocol is a darling breakout right now. Uh, food, doing pretty well. Uh, boys, down boys down significantly. You know, there's a, there's a couple of these that are over here that are, are, are down pretty good amounts. Um, I don't think it's anything to be worried about, but, but down. And Cat with Hat, remember we put this in at like 60 bucks and now it's at 72. It's starting to have a nice little reversal here. Uh, that Cat with Hat move was, uh, it's up 17, 18% over the last seven days. So uh, we're starting to see a little bit of move over there. Remember, um, Lunk Burn Tracker actually has a um, Cat with Hat Burn Tracker and we're at 20.09% of the initial supply. We started off with a burn of 20 billion, so you're starting to see a little bit more as it as it moves and moves and moves. Now, if you want to contribute to this burn, Terra Casino for all your risk-based gaming needs. Uh, remember, Evolution gave away 1.2 million euros. Uh, World Poker League, in conjunction with Terra Casino, is giving away 2 million euros uh, from now until December 22nd. And 
You can burn everything that you want to burn from ter from XRP, Dogecoin, USDT, USDC, uh, Luna Classic, Luna, Bitcoin, Ethereum, you name it, you can burn it over here. And there's plenty of different games for you to play over here. Now, some might be restricted in your area. Uh, you'll have to check and see whether or not you can play that. But as you can see right here, there's a lot of people out here playing. Uh, there's a lot of money being generated over here. And look, cash drops from Pragmatic Play from October 1 to October 27, $11,000 in daily cash drops. Folks, I can't stress enough that if you're not over here just doing a little something every day, you're broken inside and I can't fix you. Uh, go try First of Olympians, by the way. Now, uh, as far as Terra Classic goes, Terra Classic is the place to go when you want to trade these meme coins. You can go to Coin Hall, of course, but Terraport is the best place for it. Also, if you need to or want to, there is the 14-day staking still available for you. Uh, in order to do that, I have 21 days on my unlock left, and we're going to re-roll that over and do some more. Remember, I've also got Elbun staked, uh, the base token. Uh, you can also yield farm if you wish to do that. Remember, just look at the total value lock. Just look at the total uh, staked over here and then make your decision based on that and then stake those. And you can also do liquid staking so that you can continue to trade. And there is a launch pad right here in 10 days, 22 hours, 24 minutes, and 52 seconds. We've got a green token that's going to launch. Do we know what the green token is? We have no idea what the green token is, but somebody's going to complain about it. You know they are. Uh, by the way, if you're going to complain about it, don't put it in the comment section down below because only, you know, those guys are the ones that are complaining about Luna Classic every single day. Listen, uh, if you buy low and you sell high, you make a bunch of money and no project is something that you don't like. If you buy high and then you get wrecked and then you sell because you jeet out like a little baby and, and you lose money, that's just because you suck as an investor. But I don't need you to comment down here because of that. What I need you to do is quit crying because you sound like a baby. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Keep this kind of shorter today. There's a lot going on out here. It's just a matter of time before we start to see the explosive moves. Uh, the market's, you know, kind of ranging at this point. So uh, sideways action until we go in one direction or another. It's not financial advice, but I'm always right. From now until November 1st, if you make a deposit of $1,000 at cryptonomy.finance, you will get a random bonus of between fifty dollars and $5,000. Also, guys, if you have anything that you don't understand about cryptonomy, then I do special research articles on this platform. So if you are interested, you can come check them out. And if you have a question about any of these projects, then there is an opportunity here for you to learn about some of the cryptocurrencies, especially Aerodrome or Carve or something like that. You know I've got a lot of staking going on right here. I've got Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Tether all coming up to be unstaked very, very shortly. So join me in this, reap the rewards like I'm reaping. And folks, don't forget, not only is Cryptonomy a robust staking platform, but it's also a venture fund. So if you want to apply, you can do that in the research section. Apply today.